The Nona family combines the features of a howitzer, anti-tank gun and mortar into one system. Named after the initials Navishe Aridi Nazemni Artillery, meaning newest ordnance of ground artillery, the weapon has both towed and self-propelled variants, which are unique in many respects. The West does not have a similar equivalent counterpart. Today we are investigating the Nona's variants, one of the most flexible Russian artillery systems. The Nona family is built around the 120mm 2A51 and its improved version 2A60 mortars. The best definition for its mobile variants, the 2S9 and 2S23 is self-propelled mortar or SPM instead of the traditional armored mortar carrier considering their capabilities. While it includes some non-serial, improvised and advanced models, we will only focus on the four operational members of the Nona family and trace their origins back to the 1960s. In those years, the Soviet Airborne Forces, or VDV, still operated various types of artillery, such as the 122mm D-30 howitzer, 85mm SD-44 field gun, and 120mm M120 mortar, as well as assault guns like the ASU-85 and ASU-57. However, none of these met the modern combat requirements and this variety caused operational difficulties and an unbearable logistical burden. The VDV, which began taking the new BMDs into service by 1969, initially attempted to solve the issue using classical solutions by installing a 122mm howitzer and a 120mm mortar on this vehicle. However, after trials, neither the 2S2 Fialka self-propelled howitzer nor the 2S8 Wandish SPM proved successful. This failure led to an innovative idea to create a new weapon that combines the features of howitzer, anti-tank gun and mortar. Development began in 1969 and the weapon system prototype was tested on the chassis of the 2S2. As the results were promising, the USSR authorized the construction of the new 120mm airborne SPM based on the BTRD in 1976. The same year, the prototype was completed and six vehicles for battery trials were delivered by 1979. In 1980, the VDV officially accepted the new SPM into service under the designation of 2S9 Nona S. The letter S stands for Smahodne, meaning self-propelled. Serial production continued until 1989 and over 1,400 vehicles were delivered. Also known as the SO120 Vanana, the 2S9 has a power-to-weight ratio of 27.58 horsepower per ton and a ground pressure of 0.5 kg per square centimeter, which provides excellent cross-country mobility. Its hydropneumatic suspensions can adjust the ground clearance from 100 to 450 mm. The SPM can be dropped from the AN-32, IL-76 or AN-22 transport aircraft using the PRSM-915 heavy drop system from heights ranging between 300 and 1,500 meters. The hull and two-person turret are made of welded aluminum with a maximum thickness of 16 millimeters. They are resistant to small arms fire and shell splinters. The vehicle can operate in a CBRN environment. A 2S9 battalion controlled by a BTRD-based 1V119 Riastat Airborne Artillery Battalion Fire Direction Vehicle consists of three batteries each with six guns. The SPM takes 30 seconds to set for firing from traveling. The suspension is raised to provide a more stable firing platform. The gunner has a panoramic day sight mounted on the turret roof and a telescopic sight for direct fire. The Nona S carries 25 rounds of ammunition stored behind the turret. The 120mm breech-loaded 2A51 gun features an interrupted screw breech mechanism and a chamber detent that retains a round in position when the barrel is elevated. Ammunition is fixed. The loader selects a round from the ready rack, places it in a feed tray and presses an electrical button. A pneumatic rammer automatically seats the round in the chamber and closes the breech. After firing, the breech opens and the rammer injects compressed air into the chamber to expel firing fumes from the muzzle. The 2A51 can fire both Russian and Western 120mm rifled mortar ammunition. 
Currently, Ukraine employs the US-made 120mm M1101 round in its Nona family guns. The 2S9 also possesses direct fire capability. The 120mm 3BK-19 high explosive anti-tank munition can penetrate up to 650mm of conventional steel armor and has a range of 1000m. After firing, the Nona S can leave its position within 30 seconds. In 1985, the USSR introduced the 2S91 series Tiolka version, equipped with a modernized variant of the 2A51, the 2A60. The gun's breech eliminates the dependence of the firing pin position on the thermal expansion of the obturator. This change simplifies the gun's operation and eliminates the risk of misfire or spontaneous shots during firing. The 2S91 can also fire the Kitolov 2 and Grand Laser Guided Mortar Projectiles, which have ranges of 12 and 7.5 km respectively. Unlike its predecessors, the 2S91M variant introduced in 2003 features automated gun laying and fire control, satellite navigation and inertial reference systems. The Nona S does not have a machine gun as a secondary weapon. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Syria, Turkmenistan, Ukraine and Uzbekistan are the current operators of the 2S9. Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Belarus and the USSR were the former users. The 2S9 Nona S has a four-person crew consisting of a commander, gunner, loader and driver. The SPM is 6.02 meters long, 2.63 meters wide and 2.3 meters high. Its combat weight is 8.7 tons. The 240 horsepower 5D20 diesel engine provides a road speed of 60 km per hour. The vehicle's range extends to 500 km. The amphibious 2S9 can negotiate 0.6 meter vertical steps and 2 meter trenches. The 120 mm 2A60 mortar with a 1.8 meter barrel length ranges 8.8 km with a standard projectile and 12.8 km with a rocket assisted projectile. Its rate of fire is 10 rounds per minute. The barrel can be elevated between minus 4 and plus 80 degrees and be traversed 35 degrees on both sides. The USSR accepted the towed member of the family, the 2B16 Nona K, into service in 1986. The letter K stands for Kalusnaya, which means wheeled. Fewer than 200 2B16s were ever produced. The 2A51 ordnance is mounted on a split trail carriage. When traveling, the trails are closed together and locked and the entire upper part of the weapon is traversed 180 degrees and locked in position over the closed trails. A 4x4 light truck such as the Gaz 66 can tow the 2B16 at a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. Each bauxite trail is equipped with a spade and has a caster wheel to facilitate bringing the mortar into action quickly. When deployed in the firing position, the Nona K is elevated on a small circular base plate beneath the forward section of the carriage. The road wheels are off the ground. The barrel features a large box type multi buffle muzzle brake that absorbs approximately 30% of the recoil. A hydraulic recoil system is mounted above the ordnance and extends halfway along the barrel, featuring a hydropneumatic recuperator. The breech mechanism operates as a vertical sliding mechanism with a plastic gas obturator and a chamber indent device is installed to hold the round in place when the weapon is fired at high elevation. The gun features a thin shield on the front to protect the crew against small arms fire and shell splinters. Russia and Ukraine are the current operators of the Nona K. The crew of the 2B16 consists of 5 people. The mortar is 5.4 meters long, 1.79 meters wide and 1.35 meters high and weighs 1200 kilograms. The elevation angle of the Nona K ranges from minus 7 to plus 70 degrees and it can be traversed 30 degrees on either side. Its other features are similar to those of the 2S9. The USSR initiated the BTR-80 based Nona design work in 1984 and first revealed the 2S23 Nona SVK in 1990 when it entered service. Compared to the track 2S9, the wheeled 2S23 offers significantly greater strategic mobility and lower life cycle costs. 
The Amphibious SPM features a central tire pressure regulation system that enhances cross-country mobility and boasts a 7-meter turning radius. Its hull is made of all-welded steel, offering protection across the frontal arc against 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. The rest of the vehicle provides protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds. The Nana SVK can operate in a CBRN environment. The turret of the 2S23 is slightly different from that of the 2S9. The direct fire sight is located to the left of the 120mm 2A60 mortar and the indirect sight is positioned on the turret roof on the left side. The Commander features a raised cupola and an externally mounted 7.62mm PKT machine gun that can be aimed and fired from within. Additionally, the turret is equipped with a smoke grenade launchers. The 2S23 carries 30 120mm mortar projectiles. Russia, Ukraine and Venezuela are current operators of the Nona SVK. The 2S23 Nona SVK is 7.4 meters long, 2.9 meters wide and 2.5 meters high. Its combat weight is 14.5 tons. Powered by a 260 horsepower Kamaz 7403 diesel engine, it attains a road speed of 80 km per hour. The vehicle's operational range reaches up to 600 km. The amphibious 2S23 can negotiate a 0.5 meter vertical step. Its other features are similar to the 2S9. In 2000, Russia initiated the design work for the TOW 2B23 Nona M1. The trials were conducted between 2003 and 2005. The Russian armed forces accepted the mortar into service in 2007. Lacking drag fire capability, the 2B23 features a special paw on the muzzle for towing. The Nona M1's base plate is a modified version of the one used on the 2B11. During loading, the crew rotates the barrel vertically in the stock and places it horizontally. Opening the mechanism also triggers the rotating lever firing pin mechanism. Belarus and Russia are the current operators of the Nona M1. The crew of the 2B23 consists of 5 people. The motor is 2.95 meters long, 2.12 meters wide and 3.7 meters high and weighs 514 kilograms. The elevation angle of the Nona M1 ranges from plus 42 to plus 85 degrees and it can be traversed 8 degrees on either side. Its other features are similar to those of the 2S9. The Nona family also includes non-serial versions such as the TOW 2B18 Nona M, the BTR-70 based ATSEC, the 2S1 hull based 2S17 Nona SV and the BRM-1K based 2S17-2 Nona SV. Although the last two did not pass the prototype stage in the USSR, in 2021, some Ukrainian sources reported that a repair plant in Shepetovka began producing the 2S17-2 Nona SV in Ukraine. The 2A80, the main armament of the 2S31 Vienna, 2S34 Hosta, 2S39 Magnolia and 2S42 Lotus is based on the Nona but possesses a longer barrel. The mortar turrets of the Chinese PLL05, PLZ05A and Type 07PA and the North Korean M1992 have similar appearances and features to the Nona and are likely copies of it. As soon as it entered service in 1981, the 2S9 participated in combat in Afghanistan. Soviet troops appreciated the versatility of the Nona S and its significantly greater mobility on rough terrain compared to conventional mortars. However, the 2S9 also had shortcomings such as carrying limited ammunition and experiencing rapid wear of the tracks. Furthermore, its exhaust manifold pipe design was ineffective, resulting in gases escaping onto the loader during firing. During the first Chechen war, Russia deployed 2S9s in the region. Thanks to the suppressive firepower of the SPM, a column of a Russian airborne unit that was ambushed in Shatoy successfully repelled the Chechens in the early 1996. However, a few months later, the 2nd Battalion of the 245th Motor Rifle Regiment without the Nona S suffered a catastrophic defeat in the same region. The Rizan Airborne Battalion, completely surrounded by the enemy, managed to hold its position many times during the battles in the center of Grozny thanks to the fire support of the 2S9s. The 2S23 was baptized with fire during the First Chechen War. During the Second Chechen War, 
Russia employed both the Nona S and Nona K. In one battle near Aizhara, the fire support provided by the 2S9s prevented a possible encirclement of Russian forces. During the 2000 Battle for Heights 776, SPMs fired approximately 1,200 shells, which resulted in significant Chechen losses but were still unable to secure a victory in the battle. The 2S9 also participated in the Russo-Georgian War. Since the Battle of Ilovaisk in August 2014, all Nona family members have fought in the Russo-Ukrainian War. The Ukrainian M777 howitzers, ground-launched small diameter bombs and drones destroyed some Russian 2S9, 2B16 and 2S23s. Furthermore, Ukraine is currently operating several captured Nona series mortars. The Nona family has also provided a new perspective on mobile mortar concepts in the West. The successful designs of the 2S9 has led to the development of the AMS, AMOS, NEMO and M120 rock. Combining the best features of a howitzer, anti-tank gun and mortar, the Nona remains as one of the top 120mm mortars available. Although its longer brother, the 2A80, is now replacing this weapon in production, we will continue to see the legendary 2S9, 2B16, 2S23 and 2B23 on the battlefield for a considerable time and they will add new pages to their sagas. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.